Three ain't mine. They didn't do it. Them come out of your kid. They're my first one she got in that thumb. That's my first child. Not according to her. Yeah, that's my first No, child. she says that the three that she has are y'all's kids. No, they ain't mine. That ain't my kid. Miss. Okay, so so we're we're trying, so we're trying to figure out what's going on here, right? So, um, he said that basically, um, the three kids that you have Correct. are not his kids. Miss, you want to come over here? <laughs> okay, I think she feels like she might have got caught now in her life, so we're gonna see. All right, who's telling the truth here? What's up, YouTube? Back in the lab with KD for the summertime. And this time I got my hitters with. If you want to get this work, hit up at KD with the muscle on Instagram. Now back to the content. What's up, YouTube? Atlanta Street Interviews out here with the update, guys. So, guys, you, you don't recognize this guy, but this is actually um, the, the, the father, boyfriend, slash husband or whatever of the young lady that we interviewed. Okay, so so y'all see her, so right, and that's from this video right here. So, are you homeless? Um, but right now I am. Um, I came down here maybe like uh, like five or six years ago. Uh, my kids were looking for their father, and uh, he was living here in Atlanta, and he was in a lot of trouble. Okay, well, but but was that like an assault, or did y'all agree to do that, or did he take it from you? That was not an agreement, sir. So he, <laughs> but the babies is here. Well, now. in other words, did you agree to have sex with him? No, sir, I did not. So how did the sex come about? <laughs> yeah, they did. Okay, they did. and so, so what's going on, man? Yeah, they called me dead out there walking, reading, reading on my hair, so I can get, get myself together, get me a spot, get me a job, whatever I need to do. To so, so let's talk about kids. it, man. So how old are you first and foremost? I'm 36. 36. Yeah. And so, um, how long have you been homeless, man? I've been home about eight, nine years. Sound like it's been a minute, right? Yeah. So. I'm gonna dive right into it because there was a couple things she said during her interview that just had all of us just shocked. Yeah. Okay, so first and foremost, you're a couple years younger than her. Yeah. Okay. Um, what were the circumstances of you guys' first sexual interaction when you were teenagers? Uh, I'm about 19, 20 then. Well, that's not according to her. Yeah. So, because you guys have a 23 year old, right? Yeah. Right? So that would mean that you was about 13 when you had her, yeah. when she had her. Okay, so 119 to 20. So according to her, basically she said that the first time you guys had sex, it was a sexual assault. You were kind of taking it from her. Yeah. Is that the truth? Yeah. Wow, so what was what what happened with that? Oh, uh, I know I know. Uh, Can you do me a favor? Take your sunglasses off real quick, man. Yeah. Uh, only thing I know I know I had check with him, then that thing I know she had it on three kids. Yeah, three kids. Three kids. Twenty-three and the eighteen over the nineteen. You too, brother. Yeah, I mean, what made you take it from her the first time, though? My drunk. I At 12? Yeah, I was drunk. At 12? Yeah, I was drunk. Drunk as hell. Okay. Okay. Because then you guys had two more kids after that. Yeah. Um... <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have one more. We got to get y'all with a present. Yeah, so, like, I'm trying to figure this out, man. Like... You didn't raise the first three kids. Why? Them, them three ain't mine. They didn't do them, them come out of your kid. They're my first one she got in that thumb. That's my first child. Not according to her. Yeah, that's my first No, child. she says that the three that she has are y'all's kids. No, they ain't mine. That ain't my kid. Miss. Okay, so so we're we're trying, so we're trying to figure out what's going on here, right? So, um, he said that basically, um, the three kids that you have Correct. are not his kids. I'm away. <laughs> Wait, hold on! No, 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 no! Don't do that! Don't do that! Oh, give me one second! Oh, give me one second! Hold on! Hold on! So, okay, who's telling? Okay. Come on back over, because I want to clear some of this stuff up. <laughs> okay. All right. Who's telling the truth here? Uh, no, I'm telling the truth. When I first met her kid, I was with him gone. The one that thumb is mine. My first child. That's your first child? Yeah, that's my first child in that thumb. So, according to her, Ooh, she said... I, she when said, I first met her, y'all, when I had them kid, they were gone. When I first but met she her. said y'all first met when... When y'all were teenagers? I went on 1080 then. I was like 32, 33 then. 
threw one out like 30 thick, 30, uh, about 30 thick when I first met her. So hold on, let, because I just asked you when y'all first did it, was it a sexual assault? You said yes. No, it wasn't on the table. When so hold on, so hold on. When I first met her in 2021, 2022, when I first met her on the street. On the street? Yeah. And that was here in Atlanta? Yeah. And it went thin up there. So, so y'all don't have three kids? Mm -mm. You got a three kids by, by another man. They're my first child and one she got on the thumb. Okay, okay, okay. So why do you think why do you think that she basically says that you're the father of her three kids? I don't watch each other. On the father of the first child, you got no thumb. And that's your first kid ever? Yeah. And the and other three I, kids... That ain't mine. They're my third kid. Yeah, because it didn't make a lot of sense. Yeah. Now that I think about it. Huh. Okay. 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 So, okay. So, do you think that she has, like, mental illnesses going on and stuff like that? I don't know. I don't know. What about you? Let me ask about you. So, do you have mental illnesses? No? I don't got none of that. You have like a learning disability or anything like that? Yeah, yeah, I got learning disability and I got a speaking problem. That's it. Okay, it's like a speech impediment basically? Yeah, and I can't hear that. Good. What age was the learning disability diagnosed? Uh, I was young, then about eight, nine years old. Okay, okay. Were you in like the IEP classes and stuff yeah, like that? Yeah, uh, PET. Okay, okay, okay. That's the etiquette. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. And so y'all just met a few years ago? Yeah. <laughs> wow. This is incredible. Okay, okay. So, so let's real quick. Let's just start from the beginning. Where are you from, man? I'm from uh, Edward Avenue. That's about so you from here? Yeah. You yeah. from Old Fourth Ward? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey man. Up hey man. Up Shout up out that life. Edgewood, man. <laughs> Shout out that Old Four W, man. Old Four Ward. Oh, day, man. man. Shout it out, man. <laughs> and that time, brother. Yes, water. sir, man. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> gotta live life. Listen, man. I love it, man. I'm yeah. actually. I, I I do some new content yeah. out on Edgewood right now. So shout out the Nosh Lounge, man. Shout it out. All right. Anyway, so all right. So growing up here in Atlanta, did you have both mom and dad in the household? Nah, just my, mom? my father passed away. My mom died in Ellenwood. Okay, shout out to Ellenwood, man. Ellenwood area, F with us, we bury you. You feel me? All day. All right, so, okay. So, so you grew up with just mom. Do you have brothers and sisters? Yeah, I got a step brother and a wheel too. Okay, and where are you in the birth order? Oldest, youngest, middle? I'm the, on the baby boy. You're the baby boy, okay. And so growing up, would you say that you had like a fairly normal childhood? Nah. Tell me about it. Uh, when I'm coming up, I live a rough life. After my kinfo throw my money, that's why I'm home for right now. Temporary till I get me another job, get me a better place. Mm. Get okay. me a vehicle. You say they stole your money? Yeah. How so? It went to the bank, took about a couple thousand out. Okay. How did you have a couple thousand? Was it from checks that you had? Like, um, do you get from, a check every month? Check. Okay, so check. Social Security basically. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, okay, okay. Huh. Okay, okay, okay. So, you know, growing up, you had you had like the learning disability and everything. Yeah. Growing up on Edgewood, I'm gonna ask because I, I don't always ask it to guys. Maybe I should ask it more. But um, when you were younger, you know, did anything like ever happen to you? Like any type of sexual assault or anything nah, like that? Nah. Okay, so nothing like that. So, did you end up like going to high school? No, nah, I didn't go to high school. So you didn't make it to high school? Nah, okay, so I'm you try to go go back and get my GED. So was you just kind of like hustling on the street type deal? Or? Yeah, don't like that. Okay, okay. Um, and so you've never had a kid before? Uh-uh. It'd be my first one. Wow. That first is... child out of five to ten years. That's something else. Yeah. Okay, okay. All right, well, listen, um, that adds a lot of layers to this story yeah. because I, I was under the impression that her story was true. Um, but I guess, uh, Miss, you want to come over here? <laughs> Okay, I think she feels like she might have got caught now in her life, so we're going to see. <laughs> we're going to see, but okay. All right, well, listen, man, so what are we doing at this point to try to get ourselves out of this situation? Like, So let me ask about her. So like, is so is she out here homeless with you, basically? Yeah. Okay. Um, at, at some point, did she have a place? No, nah, I'm trying to work on get a place. Do not give me another job. So did she, because she told us that she had a place and that uh, she couldn't keep you inside. She couldn't keep you in the house, that you always wanted to come out, do drugs, be on the street, stuff like that. He's very much homeless and stuff. So it's been real difficult for me to get him off the street and stuff like that, even though I did I did have us a place and I tried everything 
many steps. Like I tried uh, to make them comfortable by going through like Zabin's for like three months and stuff. So wait, like so you that. say you had a place? Yes. How I had long a ago? Place. Um, I gave it up about a year ago. A year ago? What it happened? Was, it was absolutely nothing I could do to keep him in the house. Even though I put him in the house several times, I would wake up and out of nowhere, he'd be just gone. So she never had a place down here? I'm gonna try to get, get, get me a place of my own for me and my child. Wow, wow. It's getting hard out here now, though. It ain't getting it's rough, here. man. It's rough. It gets even rougher once you have a kid, man. So. Went going up, everything going up. I was I was totally prepared to kind of really ask you tough questions about um, why you chose to be a deadbeat dad, um, but it, it sounds like that's not what happened. Mm -hmm. Sounds like she just kind of lied about that part. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, man. Well, listen, we really appreciate you, man, yep. <laughs> taking the time answering all of our questions. Um, if anybody out there did want to reach out, help, or donate, do you have a way they could do that? Do you have social media, cash app, anything like that? Did we, what happened? What, what what just happened just now? You just clicked out for a second. Oh yeah. Um, what was you just thinking about? I was just thinking about getting getting get myself together, get out the street. Okay, okay. Yeah. Do you have a way that people could reach out to you if they wanted to? Like, do you have IG or Facebook? Do you have Instagram or Facebook? No, I don't got. Okay. Do you have Cash App? No. Okay. All right, man. And to, real quick, I just do want to ask, as far as the the drugs or whatever, what drugs do we do? I do uh, cocaine. Okay. Is it crack cocaine? The hard? Oh, uh, uh, no, not the hard. Thaw. Saw? Okay. All right, man. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. That's it? Okay, man. Well, like I say, really appreciate you, man. Definitely wishing nothing but the best out here, okay? Yeah. Make sure you have a good one, brother. All right, you too. All right.